Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. A visitor to your website moves from web page to web page by clicking on some form of a hyperlink placed into the page to view the content of the page referred to by the hyperlink. Hyperlinks can be either text, which is often displayed as blue underlined text, which you can click, or it could also be an image which you click, such as a hyperlink button. Either way, Dreamweaver makes setting hyperlinks to pages inside and outside of your website easy to create. What's important to remember is that a hyperlink is simply an address. Specifically, they're called a URL address that tells the visitor's web browser which page to open when the viewer clicks on the link. For example, if you wanted a link to the Teach You Comp Incorporated homepage to appear on your web page, the hyperlink would be http colon forward slash forward slash www.teachucomp.com. That's the URL address for the Teach You Comp homepage. There are two different types of hyperlinks which you create in Dreamweaver, relative hyperlinks and absolute hyperlinks. Relative hyperlinks are mainly used to create hyperlinks that access web pages inside your website. The relative hyperlink includes the folder path from the folder that contains the web page with the hyperlink to the linked page. A relative link does not include the domain name of the server on which the linked page resides. It is assumed to be on the same server in which the page that contains the hyperlink is placed. Here's an example of the HTML code used for a relative hyperlink. A href folders forward slash subfolders forward slash link page dot html. Here's an example of the link, which is the actual hyperlinked text, and then you can see the end a anchor, which actually is the hyperlink tag, the a tag. And this hyperlink informs the visitor's web browser that the page to which they will be directed when they click on the hyperlink text, which is here as an example of a link, is located within the folders folder within the same folder in which the page that contains the link is located. Within that folder, the page is located within another folder called subfolders. And within the subfolders folder, open the page called linkedpage.htm. Note that this is all dependent upon the location of the page in which the hyperlink is created. So for example, if there was no folders folder residing in the same directory as the web page into which you placed the link, then none of this would work. The link would not function. If you want to create a hyperlink on a web page to a different website, or specifically reference the web page to open within your own website, then you'll want to create an absolute hyperlink. An absolute hyperlink includes the full internet address, or URL, of the linked page including all folders and subfolders and directory pathways necessary. So here's an example of an absolute link. So we have a href http colon forward slash forward slash www.domain name forward slash folders forward slash subfolders forward slash link page .htm. And this is an example of an absolute link. Note that the hyperlink begins with a reference to the domain of the website to which the link will be created, which in this case is http colon forward slash forward slash www.domainname.com. And within that domain then, the browser will then look for a folder named folders. And within the folders folder, it then looks for the folder named subfolders and then opens the web page named linkpage.html within that folder. Don't worry if you don't have a firm grasp of the HTML coding involved with creating the hyperlinks yet. Dreamweaver is so easy to use, it makes it possible to set the hyperlinks without knowing exactly what the code means. So when you want to create a hyperlink from one page in your website to another page within your website, you're creating internal relative links. They can also be created as absolute hyperlinks as well. However, links that are set to refer to web pages that are not in your website are called external links, and those always use the absolute hyperlink style. Make sure that you save all of your pages with the desired file names into the appropriate folders or subfolders of your site's root folder before you begin creating hyperlinks. And this is important because any time that you set a link and then change the location of either of the linked pages, 
the link will be broken and will need to be recreated either by you or by Dreamweaver. Now as long as Dreamweaver's link management features are enabled, the risk of this occurring is greatly reduced, and we'll examine how to ensure that link management is enabled in a later lesson. To set an internal hyperlink, first select the text or image which you want to set as a hyperlink. Next, click the File Folder icon to the right of the Link text box in the Properties panel. In the Select File dialog box, use the Look In drop-down to navigate to the folder that contains the file to which you want to create the hyperlink. Then select the file to which you want to create the hyperlink from the large white Select File window. Just ensure that at the bottom of the Select File window, the Relative To drop-down box has Document selected. When you're done, just click the OK button in the lower right corner of the Select File dialog box or simply double-click on the page to set the hyperlink to the selected web page within your website. If you examine the contents of the link text box, you'll see that Dreamweaver has created a relative style hyperlink to this web page. And we set this when we chose document from the relative to dropdown. So the ensuing hyperlink which is created is a link from the current web page to the linked web page. When you want to create a hyperlink to a page outside of your website, you'll need to create an external link. External links need to be specified as absolute hyperlinks and the linked web page to which you refer is not on your own web server and thus has a different domain name under which they're located. To create an external hyperlink, all you need to know is the URL address of the web page to which you want to create the hyperlink. Remember the URL address is what you usually see in your web browser's address bar when you're surfing the internet. For example, the full URL address of HTTP colon forward slash forward slash teachucomp.com forward slash retail forward slash index.htm would be an example of an absolute hyperlink to the software retail page of the teachucomp incorporated website. So if we type that into the link box In this case, the hyperlink is now going to redirect them to the web page index within the folder retail within the domain www.teachcomp.com. So to create the external hyperlink as you saw, you can just open the page in which you want to create the hyperlink, select the text or image which you would like to have act as the hyperlink, and in the link text box just type the complete URL address of the web page to which you want to create a link. And of course, you can preview this in your browser to see how it will work. And then you can close your browser when you're done. And be sure to save your changes. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!